Hello, in this screencast, we're going to be doing the percent picture. And basically, this uh, spreadsheet is going to teach about percent and how percent is basically a certain part or a certain number out of 100 or a fraction of 100. So I'm going to start with a blank spreadsheet here and just quickly go through the setup of this. Um, first thing you're going to do is make a 10 by 10 square. So I'm going to click on column A up where the A is, hold shift down, and then come over 10 squares or 10 columns, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. Hold the shift and click. And now I can put my mouse between two columns and I get that double arrow and I'm going to drag one of the columns over and so I end up with somewhat of a square. So now if I drag over this, this is a 10 by 10 or 100 square uh, grid. I'm going to go over and choose the borders and choose all borders so that that's colored in so it's really easy for a student to see where they're supposed to color in. The next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to make a three column grid or table over here that's going to show um, what the students have colored in and how it equals 100. So I'm going to put the word equals in right here. And then a quick Excel tip. Uh, you click on something and if you want to fill down, you click this tiny uh, box in the corner until it turns into a plus and you click and you drag down and it will duplicate what's in the box and repeat it. So in this column, in column air, uh, L, sorry, it's going to be uh, the colors that the student chooses to put in their grid. And on this side, the equal sign, it's going to be how many of each color the student had. So now I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to color in what I'm going to have the student uh, work on here. I'm going to color this in so it's more apparent that this is where the student is supposed to be working. And I'm also going to make these equals uh, be centered. And I'm going to go ahead and uh, grid these two. All right, so the first thing that uh, we're going to do before that, though, sorry, is we are going to make up a formula that's going to allow the student to tally uh, the colors until they get to 100. So I'm going to be adding up whatever they put in these squares, and I'm going to have the answer come below that. So if you want to add the sum of anything, you drag over the squares you want to add up, and then you go over here, and you choose sum. And it's going to put the answer right below there. I'm just going to press Enter. So right now the percent or the number total is at zero. And I can test this out as I add numbers in here. It should add up what's below. So if I were to color in the squares over here to these numbers, that would equal 100. So I'm going to erase those right now. And I'm going to quickly come over and draw some color in these boxes here. Students can make a design um, or they can try and draw a picture out uh, using only the grid boxes. I'm going to quickly pick five colors to do this with. So mine will not be a very creative design. And then my fifth one here, we will make a purple. It looks like I need one more in there for red. So then I come over here and I duplicate the colors that I chose. So I have a red box and then a blue one, green, orange, and my purple. And the last thing I want to do here is I want to spruce up uh, the size and also uh, the boldness of that. So now I'm ready for my percent grid. So the red, we're going to use uh, maybe some multiplication matrix, and we're going to say 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6 times 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8 is 48, plus 1 more is 49. And I can see that this would be really handy to possibly come over and write an equation that would be 6 times 8 plus 1 is what this represents. On the green, this would be just a quick uh, length times width, so this would be 4 times 6 is 24. Yeah, it'd be handy to write over here on an equation that equals that. And then we have 8 for the blue. And we have 10, I'm sorry, 9 for the orange. And 10 for the purple. So the student should realize that all of these together has to equal 100. 
all right, because it's a 10 by 10 squared. And then we can also now move on to what percent is. So what percentage of the square is red? 49 out of 100 squares or 49%. So you could also have the student come over and translate this into percents. Um, they can move the decimal to be 0.49 if you want to cover that. Or we can just label it percent, which that does not work like that. I have to have a 0.49. And now if I label a percent, I end up with 49%. And I do not want those zeros in there, so I'm going to go like that. So that's an additional thing that you could do with this uh, spreadsheet. So lots that you could involve in here. A little creativity as well as far as coloring in this uh, 10 by 10 grid.